Hello everyone, today I want to show you my Math 5 folder games for kindergarten. So here is my Math 5 folder game bin. Uh, when I made my video on my supply closet organization, a lot of you requested to see what was inside of my Math 5 folder bin. So today I'm going to show you how you can easily create your own file folder games uh, for kindergarten and how you can get some for free. So it is very simple. File folder games are a very efficient way to teach children in the young years because it is a hands-on approach and it is much better than using worksheets and workbooks. I try to stay away from workbooks and worksheets at a young, at young age. So here we have a file folder game that you can easily create. Uh, this one's called Math Cupcakes Button Numbering. So I just put some uh, clip part here in the, in the front. And I got some felt and foam at my local arts and crafts store. And I made some cupcake figures and numbered them 1 through 10. The object of this game is to teach number quantity. So I got some buttons. And then I keep them in this little baggie. And the child would place buttons on each of the cupcakes. One. This is supposed to simulate like uh, sprinkles or something. Two. And so on. And so this is a fun way, hands-on way, to teach number quantity for little children. Uh, simply just keep the buttons here in this little baggie and I put it away. Um, five folder games are a very efficient way to take out an activity and um, have it ready on the go whenever you need it. So today I'm gonna to show you what I have in my bin. Um, this is not the best bin to keep file folder games. You can actually get bins that fit uh, file folders perfectly. But I actually want a little room um, to keep other activities that I also use. So here we have, um, in the front I have my math curriculum. And so I follow um, standards. I follow my uh, state standards, and I also follow other standards uh, from the World Book Standards. If you would like to see how I set up my standards, um, please like the video and leave a comment below. And I'll make sure to make a video of how to create your own math uh, standards. Um, the reason I create standards is because every single file folder game has an objective. I don't just make file folder games um, just because they look nice or because uh, the child is going to like it. I try to have an objective for each of the five folder games. Um, so here I have four sections uh, in my five folder bin. I have uh, geometry, operation and algebraic thinking, counting and cardinality, and measurement and data. Um, and I have some other random ones in the back. Um, so these four sections are actually from the Common Core Standards. So if you live in the United States, um, the, most of the states have adopted standards in which um, children meet certain objectives in kindergarten and in every grade. Um, how you go about teaching the objectives is really up to you, up to the teacher, um, but they do set standards um, that children are to meet before they go on to the next grade. So that's what I have here. I try to um, teach these standards in fun ways, uh, hands-on way. Um, so, let me go ahead and show you um, some of the a little bit of each section and how I have the file folders organized. So, for example, this is 3D figures. This is in the geometry section. And so here we have a file folder game. And as you can see, um, it has um, a laminate here and then it has a little envelope here where I keep the little pieces that come with the file folder. Um, this is a really efficient way to keep the pieces so that you don't lose them if you don't want to use the baggie. And basically just have double-sided tape on the other side of the envelope. So I go ahead and I get the pieces out. Let's see if I can do it with one hand here because I am recording with the other hand. Um, and so the child would look at the 3D figures and uh, look at these um, real-life pictures and try to figure out where it goes. Cube, cube, and so on. Uh, cone, where's the cone? Cone, okay, so. And then when the child is done, they go ahead and put it in the envelope. Put it in the envelope and close it. And the file folder game is put away. Um, so that's 
that. Let me go ahead and show you uh, operations and algebraic thinking. Um, so let's see. Let's take out some addition one. So here we have an addition one, and it is the same concept. I have the laminate here, which I put with glue. Over here in the top corner, I have the standard that it meets, and the child would um, solve these addition problems. I have the um, answers here, the little laminates that go with it, the little cutouts, and the child would simply um, solve the problem and then put the correct answer. So that is addition. I'm actually going to leave them out because it's kind of difficult for me to put them in. Um, let me go ahead and show you another one. Let me show you a number sequence one. So you can also you also use uh, Velcro. And Velcro is very good for the younger kids because sometimes the pieces move. And it's actually the best way to do this uh, with the file folder games. Use Velcro. I have the see-through Velcro here. So that this is number sequence and they are to number uh, 1 through 20. So they go on, they pick the pieces, two, three, and so on, until they get to 20. You could also just um, have like different numbers out and have them fill in the missing numbers as well. So there's a lot of different ways you can do this. And you can get the uh, um, see-through Velcro in Amazon. Let's show you another one. Um, let's see. Show you this number train one. This is a number train, and they are to put the numbers in order. This particular folder has one through ten, and so there are little numbers in here. And uh, the child would place the numbers in order uh, from one through ten. Let's see what else we have here. Um, I cannot show you all of them because I have way too many of them. Let me show you the skip counting one. I really love this one because it's um, such a fun one. So this is skip counting. Right now we're working on skip counting by tens, but this file folder game, game brings skip counting by twos, by fives, by tens, and by hundreds. That's what I want to focus, focus on for this year. So we have 10, what goes next? We're gonna have the Velcro, 20, 30, and so on until they are done. Okay, um, let's see what else we have that I want to show you guys. Um, let's see, I have something here for measurement and data. Let's show you this B-sizing classification one. And this is basically teaching children um, uh, small, medium, large. So, I have these little pieces, small, medium, large, and they are to put, I take them all off and then mix them up and have them classify small, medium, and large. And so I didn't want to make this video really, really long, um, but you guys got the, the, the points. Let me just show you one more, and I want to show you uh, telling time by the hour. And uh, so this is telling time. And the little cards are in here. Um, so I am teaching time by the hour this year. So they would find, what does it say? 12 o'clock. And they would find 12 o'clock. Um, and just place the card on it. And again, um, all of the five folder games do meet a particular purpose. Um, the common core standards does not include time, does not include patterns, does not include other things that I have included here in these five folder games because I also go by the world uh, standards and uh, by other standards as well. So um, I think this is a great way to introduce young children to uh, key concepts that need to be learned before they go on to the first grade. And uh, this is also good for children who have special needs and who uh, are going through an early intervention program because this is a uh, hands-on approach to learning uh, concepts in a fun way. Um, this is a great resource for um, homeschoolers, for teachers, or for daycare providers, anyone who has uh, young children at home because you have these activities that you can take out, anything that you want to teach um, based on um, your standards or your objectives for the year, and um, they're ready to go, they're, and they are ready to be, to be done at any given moment. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and provide you a link 
on where you can get the um, some of these file folder games for free and uh, I also will be providing you a link where you can get um, the file folder games by standards um, so that you can organize a file folder bin just like this um, uh, based on objectives and um, on standards so that your child or your student um, is able to successfully go on to the first grade uh, by meeting all of their objectives. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video and um, for more videos like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.